Sometimes they laugh. You supposed to look serious. Other times they serious. You supposed to laugh. Sounds too complicated. In a rehearsal space, all you have is your lost credit on your CV and what people might have said about you, which is now being used as toilet paper. So, you know, a lot of how people treat you is dependent on how you act. Suppose the director walks in and says, Well, if the dust doesn't choke us to death, we'll be able to freeze in comfort. Yes. And then you then add explosive, you know, you add gunpowder like race and <laughs> stuff, <laughs> you know, sexism. sexism. We laugh and dispute him. Oh. <laughs> For me, a lot of the comedy is actually irony. A lot of it is absurd. And a lot of it is also trying to decipher what are you actually really laughing at? <laughs> oh no, Mr. Manners? <laughs> it ain't that bad. Are you laughing at because you recognize the things that are oppressing me and that makes you think it's funny? <laughs> or are you laughing because, you know, she's actually structured it in such a way that she's allowing the audience to feel comfortable in this moment so then the serious stuff can then <laughs> hit you? <laughs> White folks can't stand unhappy Negroes. So laugh. America is so freaking absurd. Like, you have to laugh at it. Like, you literally have to laugh at just the craziness and the situations and the patterns and roles that we allow ourselves to continue to be playing out. When I think about, you know, when she sat down to write this, Alice Childress, who, and she was an actress as well, you know, I don't know how she couldn't have made it a comedy. This just brings me to what me and my siblings always say, it's funny because it's true. Yeah. That's what it literally is. It's yeah. funny because it's true. And you can't really get away from it. Yeah.